In this video, I'm going over how to find files in Linux Terminal. So I made this a very condensed five minute tutorial that I'm about to jump into, mainly just because I see these drawn out tutorials that really don't teach you much or very convoluted in the way they teach you. So during this, look at the screen. I will be putting up the commands themselves, big bolded, uh, so you can easily copy these down. They will also be in the description. And with that said, let's jump into it. So let's try to find a media file we're looking for. With, which begins with media. So let's go find, and we'll do uh, the title here, and that's gonna just search our home directory, or the tilde, I can never say it right, I don't know why. And then uh, forward slash wine, since I just did a video on this, name, and then media. Well, it didn't find it with that, because it's looking for it in the exact file name, media. So let's do media star. Oh, okay, found one file here. And looking at this, uh, it's not exactly what I was looking for because of the one I need is actually a capital M. So instead of going back here and fixing my caps, I'm just gonna make this case insensitive. So to make it insensitive, just I name instead of regular name. Personally, I never use dash name. I'm always, always doing I name just because I was like, I don't remember what was caps and what wasn't. So um, then we find a whole bunch and I'm like, oh, okay, well, I need to find the executable file of this. Um, so the easiest way to do that would be star.exe. And then I'm like, it just lists the executables there. So that's just the tutorial to find what it is. So it's the find command then you have the path, and then you have your triggers or your commands or, and options. So I always do iname, dash iname, and then a section that I'm looking for, and then .exe. But let's say you wanted to cull this down even further. Um, you could also do, and just grep the end of this and say, hey, I only want this certain thing. Since all these are really close to the name, I'm not gonna really do that right here. I'll probably do it later in the tutorial. Um, but this is just your basic find. Um, and this is what most people know already. And uh, this is just an intro for it. So moving on, let's go into a little more advanced syntax. Um, let's say I need to find something I downloaded in the past week. So I'd go find uh, the title dash downloads. And then I would do M time and then do negative seven. It'd be say, hey, within the last seven days, find any files in my downloads folder. So you're left with this. Likewise, if we wanted to do the last month, it'd pull in all the stuff in my downloads folder right here. So let's say I wanted to limit this down to just files with PF sense or PF in them. So if you look right here, you'll see that uh, you have some PF sense stuff I did earlier in the week from the grep. So that limits that down even further. So um, let's say in my downloads folder, I only wanted to grab stuff that was above 10 meg. So on top of this, let's say last 30 days and do size plus 10 plus meaning above 10 megs. And then it would only pull in this downloaded image that's above 10 megabytes. So that's really quick, but I hit uh, the last day and you can change that minus to a plus if you wanted to look past seven days and nothing that's in the past 30 days or seven days. And then you can also add the size on top of it to further cool it down. And then let's say you still are left with a bunch of results. You do the pipe command and then grep and then just PF or just a little part of the string that you know is in that file. And from that, you'll be able to basically cool down. And that, that is just the basis of find and really how to make use of it. But with that said, let's kind of, for just a bonus here at the end, 
let's say I was looking for something for GIMP for image uh, and I was like, hey, where is GIMP located on my system? Because I installed it using a package manager and it scatters, you know, three sheets to the wind. And you're like, hey, where is it? Well, you just do where is GIMP. And it shows you all the directories that GIMP is located in. So I know it's in user share uh, GIMP, etc GIMP, and user lib gimp and user bin gimp so there's that that's where all of it is located which is pretty cool um the one case where this might be not be it let's say i was looking for the gimp config you know that's not shown here because that's config files so just kind of keep that in in your mind when you're doing this because gimp this is just the executables and sometimes they put the config files with the executables like nagios and some other softwares off the top of my head do that but gimp actually has its own like dot local config um, that doesn't show up with this command so that's good to know as well but that is it for find and at the very end here where is so that was how to find files in Linux. And if you like this video, please come visit me over on Patreon, help contribute. Uh, it helps make these videos possible. And with that said, I'll see you in the next video.